So in this video, I wanna look at the randomized transform tool, which can be used to randomize the location, rotation, and scale of your objects. This can be useful for trees, rocks, maybe some grass, to scatter them throughout your scene or create variation uh, automatically without having to do all the manual work. In my case, I'm gonna create a star field that could be used in the background of a night scene or something similar. I'm gonna create that star field with a simple cube and a couple of array modifiers. If you're just here for the randomized transform tool, check the time codes down below and you can jump ahead to that tool. So selecting this cube, I'm gonna shrink it down to maybe 0 0.02. So it's gonna be a pretty small little object. I'm then gonna add two array modifiers. The first one's gonna go in the X direction and I'm gonna go by a factor of three so we can see the separate stars. And I'm gonna set my count to 50. The second array modifier, is gonna go in the Y direction, also by three, and we're gonna go 50 in that direction as well. We now have 2,500 small objects. In order for the randomized transform tool to work, we need these as separate objects. So I'm going to apply the modifiers, and then going to go into edit mode, and separate by lose parts. Now, a note of caution here, I now have 2,500 separate objects in my scene, which can get a little chaotic, and we wanna be really careful with how we handle these. So hiding the rest of the things in your scene, uh, maybe coming back and eventually parenting or joining these all back to a single object can make a lot of sense. Just be aware you have a lot of objects floating around in your scene. So back in object mode, I now have all my separate objects. They're all selected. I'm gonna use the randomized transform tool. I'm gonna press the space bar and I'm gonna search for randomize transform. And that's gonna bring up this last operator menu where we can see the options to randomize the location, the rotation, and the scale. For my purposes, I'm going to do 30 in the X, 30 in the Y, and maybe just five in the Z direction. On the rotation, I don't think this matters all that much, but I'm gonna rotate them like so. And then on the scale, I'm gonna scale them evenly so they scale the same amount in every direction. And maybe I'll turn this down to 0.75 something like that, and we get a variety of scale, position, and rotation. Now, if I take a step back, you can see I've got quite a star field. It's still pretty dense, so maybe for your purposes, you want fewer stars or to um, stretch them out further. But that's using the randomized transform tool to create a star field. Now, again, this could be useful for trees, rocks, grass, or other things that you wanna create some variety. Uh, in those cases, you're still going to have to manually place those objects onto your scene or onto your terrain, uh, this tool won't do that for you. It's just gonna create the variety. In the next video, I'm gonna use the select random tool to randomly select stars and apply a material to them. So we get a variation not only in their transforms, but a variation in their color as well.